Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another watch review. This again is something else from my collection. Um, is the Helsin Shark Diver in brass at 42 millimeters. Uh, it is uh, a 500 meter depth watch with a um, Seiko NH35 movement in it with sapphire glass. Uh, 42 mils in a, an overall size, um, about 14 and a half in thickness. Uh, you know, really uh, interesting brand out of Hong Kong. I think a lot of people are aware of this brand. Uh, if you want to get into uh, a brass bronze type watch, um, these can be had for about $350 shipped. Uh, and it gives you the, you know, that, that kind of look that, you're, that is quite popular now, the brass or bronze um, look. I, I don't go too much into detail about, you know, um, which is better, brass or bronze. That's probably more a matter of opinion. Um, they have a slightly different uh, sheen to them. Uh, brass tends to be a more um, coppery looking, I guess, in most of the alloys I've seen, where bronze is a little bit more goldish looking. The patinas will be a little bit different. This one will not turn green as a bronze watch will. It'll turn more brownish. And I actually had given this a ketchup bath once to, to take the patina off and brighten it up a bit. Um, the, the, the tomato acid actually, uh, you know, de-patinas the watch. Um, although you can still see there's, there's plenty of uh, character left on the, uh, on the case. Little variations here and there. Uh, these come in their famous um, big plastic uh, tube for shipping uh, on these very, very nice rubber straps. Uh, they're called CUDA straps. And they are very uh, similar to the popular isoframe for a lot less money. Um, at 42 mils, it does sit um, quite well on my wrist. My wrist, um, as you guys may have seen on other videos, is, uh, you know, it's about seven and a quarter inches or uh, 19 mils, I mean 19 centimeters. Uh, you know, so it's, it's, you know, it's big, but it's not, not uncomfortable in any sense. You know, it's a great casual watch. Obviously, it's not going to work with a suit in the office, but uh, you know, there are plenty of occasions where you can have fun with this watch. The loom, as you, you may be able to tell uh, a little bit already, is, is quite good. This is just took it out of the box and getting a little bit of light exposure here in my room. And, uh, you know, it's already got quite a nice glow to it. Uh, they're famous for that. Most of the, the micro brands out of Hong Kong uh, do have prodigious amounts of uh, super luminova on their watches, and this one's no different. Um, the numerals on the, on the bezel, um, however, are not luminescent on this one. There are other versions that do have that, but these are engraved. Um, being that it is a brass case for the brass bezel, I think that kind of makes sense. Uh, it goes along with the whole look. Um, uh, again, this is a, a really deep uh, navy blue dial, uh, which I thought goes really well with, with the, uh, the kind of goldish color of, of the clean brass case. On the case back, you can see, uh, you know, some writing on here that's uh, you know not overdone but fairly descriptive. Uh, Same the case is brass. The case back is titanium. It's good for 500 meters. Um, the movement is an NH35 Seiko, and this is uh, you know uh, production number 711. Um, you know, great, uh, great detailing on the back here. Subtle, but you know, got some character to it without being too much. Um, you know, like I said, there's, there's a lot of different versions of this watch out there. Uh, you can get different color dials, different kinds of cases, different size cases. I think you can get one with a date on it if you really want to. Um, the strap is essentially a uh, 22 mil, so it will fit with, you know, tons of choices out there. Um, I myself have lots and lots of straps in my box that will uh, accommodate this watch quite well. You know, there's, as the price goes, you know, about $350 delivered from Hong Kong. Um, you really can't go wrong with something like this if you're looking for something a little bit different. Uh, you know, quality, hacking, hand winding, Japanese movement, sapphire glass, great depth rating on the case, unique style, fantastic loom. Um, just, you know, all around fun watch and, uh, you know, really happy to have my collection. Uh, it has, uh, you know, the, the right um, attitude for, for certain times, particularly in the summertime. Uh, go up, run around and kind of, you know, have fun and and uh, you know something that is durable but uh, not like G-Shock durable <laughs> you know with a little more of an analog um, quality to it so again um, Helsin Shark Diver 42 mil in brass um, great watch for the money uh, if you're looking for something different go ahead and uh, pick one up thanks for watching see you next time